Welcome and thank you for watching this video on how to use Canvas for Kingston University. So this guide will support you in setting up your account, navigating your modules, submitting your assignments and reviewing your feedback. So let's begin with how to log into Canvas. First, you can use this link to visit the Canvas website for Kingston or you can simply Google Kingston Canvas and click on the result. Once you're at the login page, use your Kingston email and password given to you and click sign in when you are done. When you click sign in, you should immediately be directed to the dashboard page, which is the first page you should see after logging in. So on the dashboard, you will see module cards, which also display notifications on upcoming events, feedback, and announcements. On the left, you should also see several tabs on the navigation list, each for different features within Canvas. For instance, under accounts, you can update your profile and access your personal settings. Dashboard to see what's happening in your modules and to figure out what to do next. Under courses, you can see all your Kingston modules and so on. So let's start with the account settings. The first thing you can do to set up your Canvas is to change your profile picture. It will be used quite often, so it will be good if you to set it early. So now you can click on the profile button under accounts icon. From your profile page, you can also choose to edit your contacts, biography, or links by clicking the edit profile button. But right now, we'll just focus on changing your display picture. So click on the pencil icon on your profile picture over here. You can choose a picture to upload or go to take a picture to take a photo now if you have a webcam. You can also upload a picture from your desktop. So going back to the account settings, you will now set up the notifications for your Canvas account and choose what you want to receive immediately, daily, weekly, or not at all. It is recommended that you do not select the do not send me anything function as you may miss important information when you do not receive any notifications. If you click on one of the modules, you will enter the module page that you have just selected. On the module homepage, you will see syllabus, assessment and feedback, and my reading list. In the syllabus page, the syllabus for the module will be displayed as well as the intended learning outcomes, assignments, as well as the weightage in the module. Assessment and feedback. You should see the schedule for each assessment within the module. My reading list should display the list of readings that are recommended by your lecturer and yourself. So there should be a list of buttons for of various functions on the left of your module page. So the home button is where is the home page of the module where all the module information and announcement will be located at. The assignments is where you submit online assignments, quizzes, and discussions. Discussions are where you interact with others on your module. Grades display grades for all the module assignments. The syllabus contains module information, including aims and learning outcomes, as mentioned before. The quizzes challenge your subject comprehension and understanding, basically where you take your quizzes. Collaboration is where you work with others on the same document at the same time, much like a Google Docs, Slides and, and Sheets. At chat, you communicate in real time with your lecturers and peers. Moving on to the submission of assignments. First, click on the assignments and you will be directed to this page which shows the assignments available for submission or review and their contribution to the total module grade. Once you've selected the assignment or the assignment button, all you need to do is to click on the Submit an Assignment button. Choose the file you want to hand out and submit it. Once you're done, you should receive the turn-in message with the time of submission. Moving on, the calendar icon brings you to the global calendar, which will include content from your courses and due dates as well. You can take the calendar feed and put it in your personal calendar. Next, if you want to know your feedback from your previous submissions, you can go to the grades under the navigation module menu. On this page, you will see the total marks from each submitted assignment and how much they amount to in the total module grade. The feedback on your assignment will look something like this, where you can see the comments and annotations on your files alongside the, the rubrics mark and feedback so that it's easier to understand. The assignment mark will also be located on the top right corner of the page. Next, the modules icon will take you to see all the courses they are currently enrolled in and you can choose which ones you want to show on the dashboard. Next, the inbox is where you can communicate with your instructors. The Canvas inbox can communicate currently with your regular email. The good thing about Canvas inbox is that it will coordinate with your regular email account. So anything sent through the Canvas inbox will also send a copy to your regular email and vice versa. It makes it easy to track, keep track of conversations. So click here to compose a new message. 
select the course and a list of people enrolled in that course will come up and you don't even have to type the whole name. Type your subject and your message and click send. You have access to help and guidance 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. Many questions can easily be answered as well as further guidance can be found via the help icon in the global navigation tab. You can type in any questions you have about Canvas in the search bar and results from the previous discussions and questions will appear. Additionally, if you want more specific information and how to's in Canvas, you can download the entire student guide in Canvas guides and read it, or you can also click on the video guides which contains many videos made to frequently ask questions. So next up we have OSIS, also known as the Online Student Information System. It allows applicants, current students, and staff to manage their information. You can check your final grades after the moderation and board meetings. Kingston's online library catalog is called ICAT. It is an electronic library where you can search for both printed and electronic resources. From here, you can view the online full text of electronic resources. You can access your Learning Resource Center account to renew and request items using your normal Kingston University username and account. External members can search ICAT, but you will have no access to e-resources. So this is how the ICAT will look like on the website. So next up, we have HERE. The Higher Education Achievement Report replaces the printed diploma. The HERE is an electronic record of student achievements verified by the university. A student's HERE starts on day one at Kingston University. It is a living document and they have to develop during their time here. It is possible for students and employers to print copies of here. However, only copies which are viewed online via the system provider, grant intelligence, should be regarded as verified by university. So the here replaces the diploma supplement at Kingston University. From April 2014 onwards, all Kingston University graduates will receive a here. You can share your here with employers and academic institutions by providing them with an electronic access. They can then verify your qualifications quickly and easily. So Kingston is delivering here with great intelligence. This means that you can continue to access your here after graduation to update your personal profile and share your details with employers. This national scheme is already used by many other universities across the UK. Once a student has granted you access to their here, you can print off a copy. But please bear in mind that Kingston University will only verify the online version. Finally, Kingston encourages its students to make use of the BLASC system, a portal designed to teach students about academic writing, referencing, report writing, and so on, through use of general materials and guides on the system. If you want to access any of these three websites, you can either Google them or use the links we have provided in the description below. So we've come to the end of the general guide on Kingston's Canvas. Should you have any questions, feel free to inquire through the Adventist Help Desk email. Once again, thank you for watching this video. Hope you are excited and ready to begin the semester. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative and constructive content. And I'll see you around again.